Hi everyone, this is me, Lena, aka Downloads from the Divine. I am here to do the daily reading for Friday, December 18th of 2020. I hope everyone is doing well and happy Friday. I always say it every Friday, um, but really this should happen every day as you do something for yourself. Please take care. Self-care is so important and it's even more critical even now with everything happening. So please take care of yourselves and I'm always sending y'all lots of love and light. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And um, for those of you who are already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, I, I always appreciate your support. I appreciate the beautiful messages in the comments. Thank you. Information about myself, including um, the types of readings that I offer, how to go about ordering a personal, personal reading, all of that is in the description box below. I have an Etsy shop. I'm also on Instagram and I'm also on Instant Go. And all the information about that is also in the description box below. Um, today we're going to be using, this is the Gilded Tarot Royale tarot deck that is by um, Chiro Marchetti. And we'll be clarifying with the Rider Waite, the Smith Waite, excuse me. Well, it's like the, it is the Rider Waite, but the Smith Waite tarot deck. And, um, then we're going to, at the end, pull a, um, indigo angel oracle card. Okay. All right. Okay, I pull a card. Sometimes more than one card comes out. That's what the divine wants. I also pull the cards from the bottom and the top of the deck as part of the overall messaging. All right, angels and spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Right, there we go. Hanging man. Okay. The top of the deck. Okay, we got the nine of wands. Okay, in the bottom of the deck, the sun. This is you realizing that um, you still have the strength and power within you to move forward. We've got two major arcana here on the table. Okay. Got the hanging man right there. And then we've got the sun. Sun is a very positive card, um, as well as the hanging man. And I feel like the hanging man is really positive here with the sun. Okay. Um, I don't feel like it's reversed. I feel like both of these are upright. Um, the hanging man is when the divine, it's like the divine, um, you are in a place where you're to take a moment and a pause and you're to look at something from a different perspective. Okay. The cool thing is, is that I feel like what's happening is, is by you doing that, the combination of the hanging man with the sun, like I said, is like really, really positive here. Okay. Because the sun is about 
enlightenment, um, things becoming clear. The sun shines a light on things. Okay. And I feel like what's happening is just that by you doing this and seeing some things from a, a different perspective, it's bringing enlightenment. Okay. What is it bringing enlightenment about? It's bringing enlightenment about this nine of wands here. Okay. Okay. I just got a download. So I was guided to. We've got a uh, son is number uh, 19. Um, and then the hanging man is number, um, is number 12. Okay. Um, that is a 31. Three plus one is a four. Four means being able to have a stable, uh, foundation. Okay. So this is helping you to be able to, you see what this, um, this nine of wands right here. The nine of wands is when you can see the figure. The figure is down on one knee. Still holding on to one wand, but this is a figure that you can see that's been through a battle, okay? Um, questioning whether or not they have it in them to be able to move forward. Do they still have the strength to continue to go, okay? And you can see that you have the figure here holding this one wand. And then there's eight wands behind uh, the figure, okay? That one wand represents being able to, when you're holding like the one wand, it's like an ace of wands, it's being able to have a passionate new start. The eight of wands behind that figure um, also represents the eight of wands in terms of having that movement forward. And wands are all about movement, okay? The feeling here is just that you have you all that are, or have been questioning whether you have it within you to still continue to move forward, okay? Because this is the thing it, with the nine of wands, this means that you have been through a lot. You've been through a lot of challenges. You've been through battles. And when we go through those battles, we do question whether or not we still have it, have the strength within us to continue to move forward. Okay. What's happening here is, is that with the hanging man, with the sun, is, is that what y'all are doing and what you're guided to do is to be able to look at things that you've been through from a different perspective. Okay. And by doing that, know that you do have the strength within yourself. Like this figure still has the strength within itself to go ahead and stand up and take that wand and move forward. Okay. Um, and so that's what I feel like is what hap what's happening with you all. You've been questioning that because when you go through difficult challenges and things and obstacles, you do question that. Okay. But what you're, what you're guided to do and what I feel like also some of y'all are doing is you're being able to go ahead and say, hey, look at that, all the challenges and things that you went through from a different perspective. And by doing that, you pick up on things. You pick up on things that you may have missed. You pick up on lessons learned. That brings forth with the sun here a lot of enlightenment. And then as a result of that, you're being able to go ahead and know that you have the strength within you to go ahead and stand on up and continue moving forward. Okay. Pick up that wand. You have that wand, hold on to that wand. And, um, even if you need to use that wand to stand up, like this figure is holding that wand to stand up and continue to go. Okay. To move forward. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do some clarification. Angels and spirit, can you please clarify the hanging man? Yeah. 
this is really, really positive with the Hanging Man, with the Ace of Swords, because the Ace of Swords cuts through confusion. It cuts out things that aren't serving you. And it brings forth truth and clarity. So it's really positive, like I said, that we have the Hanging Man here, the Major Arcana, the Hanging Man with the Sun. In terms of you seeing things from a different perspective, gaining enlightenment, and as a result of that, you're also being able to see truth and clarity. Okay, you're being able to cut through all the confusion, things that had you like mentally conflicted and confused. Okay. That kept you in this place of just like, do I do can I can I go can I still move forward? Do I have it within me to go on? Okay. All of the mental confusion would keep you in that place of not, you know, moving. It's good that this figure, I will say this, um, that this figure is taking the moment and pause to rest because that's what the hanging man is also about. It's about you taking this moment, taking a pause to see someone from a different perspective. But it's for you to gather your bearings and gather strength and to be able to go ahead and, you know, you, that you have it within you to still continue to move forward, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we've got, yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is when you're really holding on to things. Um, and I feel like that's, that's what this is about. You cut, you cut that out, things that you were holding on to that weren't in your highest good. You cut cutting that out, okay, with the Four of Pentacles. These things that you were holding on to, things that created a lot of confusion for you, um, you being able to cut that out, okay? By you really seeing some things from a different perspective, you're letting that go, okay? So we've got the four of pentacles on one side of the deck, and then on the other side of the deck, we've got, yeah, we've got the two of swords. Two of, that's what I was just talking about a moment ago with what the Ace of Swords does in terms of this has been you feeling mentally conflicted and you don't know which way to go. By you, when well, you were hanging on to things, and even if you are still doing that, it, 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 things that aren't in your highest good, it does create a lot of mental conf conflict here, okay? Not knowing which way to go. Um, but with this Ace of Swords, being able to just cut all of that out. Okay, and this is, like I said, this is clarifying the hanging man. Okay, seeing things from a different perspective. Angels and spirit, can you please clarify the nine of wands? The Nine of Wands. We have again that Four of Pentacles. There's a feeling with the Four of Pentacles. It's like being able to reverse that. Because you can see this figure. You can even see the figures holding on like stuff. Holding on to those pentacles so tight. And when you hold on to like energy so tight. There's no room for you to be able to move forward. Okay, um, there's no room for anything to grow or to expand. Um, but I feel like what's happening is, is with the hanging man and with the sun, you're being able to let that stuff go. Okay, and I feel like this is actually reversed. At the bottom of the deck, we've got, yeah, because you got right here, we've got the eight of pentacles here. Eight of pentacles this is about putting in the work that's necessary, making the, the effort. OK, and that's what you're doing because you're being able to actually be able to stand up and keep moving forward here with this nine of wands. OK. And it's OK, like I said, it's OK for this figure to, to take this moment and take a breath. OK, because you've been through a lot. OK, just like this figure has. That's OK. That's why the hanging man is here too, taking that moment. But this is to know that after you get, you know, be able to get your bearings, get your, take a breath, that you have it within you to continue to go ahead and move forward, okay? It's going, it does take being able to, with the eight of pentacles, is putting in that, making the effort to do so, okay? On the other side of the deck, we've got judgment. 
this is really positive to have this major arcana come out with the hanging man and the sun because judgment is when you basically have a complete review of the past and you're being you're being guided to make amends with that and to be able to release that okay that helps you to be able to move forward too okay Angels and spirit, can please clarify the sun? Oh, that jumped out. The lovers. Y'all have had to make a choice, okay? Uh, the lovers represents making a choice between two things, okay? And um, I feel for some of y'all, it was a choice between yourself and things that were not in your highest good. Okay, whatever that is, however that resonates with you. Um, situations that weren't in your highest good. But I feel like one of the choices, though, was yourself. And um, you realize that, and that's why we have the Ace of Swords here. There were some things that you had to basically let go of. Okay, there are things that I feel like you all have been able to, like, work out, reconcile, um, even reconcile different situations with people. Um, but you had to do that in a way that was in your highest good and best for yourself. Okay. And the bottom deck, we do have the two of pentacles. Um, it was, the, it, you know, and that's the reason why you are at this place of taking this, you know, you know, taking this pause, like, you know, I, I take a breather before I, you know, continue to move forward it's because it it does when you're in the midst of you know those those difficult situations with the two of pentacles it does make you feel like you're juggling you do feel overwhelmed okay and then on the other side of the deck we've got yeah the nine of swords this is when you have that worrying anxiety because it did come down to you making some decisions and some choices okay and one of the like i said one of the choices of the decisions was what's best for yourself Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pull an indigo angel oracle card. One more time. Angels and spirit, what guidance, clarity, and insight do you have for the collective for December 18th of 2020? Ask for a sign. Whenever you are unclear about things, it and it is it's really great, and you can always ask the divine for a sign. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we do have explore. This is about. You know, when you are in this place with the hanging man and you don't, like I said, I feel like the hanging man is upright because the hanging man is in reverse is when you're just hanging out. Okay. And you're not able to move forward because it is good to take that moment to see things from a different perspective, but then you're guided to also be able to go ahead and move forward. Okay. Um, but I feel like this explorer is also tied to the sun being able to see things and being able to also know that you have ex options that you can explore. Okay. And then on the other side of deck, we've got show appreciation, show appreciation for yourself, show appreciation. Also, it's like, even though you went through difficult challenges, it's like being appreciative that there were things that you learned enlightenment gained from those different challenges and those, all the enlightenment and the lessons that you learned are going to help you to 
move forward even even further and do even more great, great things in your life. Okay. All right, y'all. That is your reading. I am sending you lots of love and light and I'm wishing you all a beautiful weekend. Please take care. Bye.